black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. Reality Temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. When I first heard of this thing called a coon, I really didn't really understand the depths of the word or the person. I just used to hear that word thrown around every great once in a while. As my uncles then was teaching me about these things and as I was getting to know what a coon was. I used to always wonder why would a person turn against their own race? That was the question I used to always ask, like why would they? Then the light bulb came on in my head and it was like it has to be something profitable to make a person turn against their own race. See, you never supposed to turn against your own race. Why? Because it is your race. Like why would you turn against yourself and your people and who you are and go against your very existence? Why would you do that? And it's all about profit, people. It's all about benefits. It's all about money. It's all about what they can accumulate out of the situation. And that is why a lot of these brothers and sisters sell out the way they do. See, because America understand one thing. Is money. See, they understand the power of money and they use that to their advantage daily. And they use that especially on black people that are trying to make life quote unquote better for themselves. And that is a weakness to some of the people that just happens to be in our culture. See, there is a market. There is an actual market for coonery. Cooning for profits is an actual market that was created by this country to get black people to turn against black people comes with a profit. I can just imagine how much that black attorney assistant that was in the Trayvon Martin case, the black woman that was sitting there as a black model, as she was sitting behind George Zimmerman and his attorneys. She was there just for looks, just to say, hey, we have black people too. They have used this even in the political realms. They have gotten our own people to speak against us in public forums. Even on the news, they have handpicked certain black people to get on there and to rebut our argument. And they use that in a very, very prosecutive way. It's their way of saying, no, black people, you're just crying. Because we have this black person saying that you're just crying. So therefore, they use that to try to discredit our arguments. And that within itself is pure evil. That's pure evil. And it is stupid for a black person to let themselves 
be used in that manner. It is sad that a black person would let somebody they know that is wicked and evil and knowing the history of America and use them against their own people. I find that very significantly sad. That people that are a part of our culture is selling us out for the old mighty dollar. See, a lot of these newscasters and a lot of these people that are trying to climb in the political realm to get that money. See, even the sellouts on YouTube, they do the same thing. Because, see, it's all about profit. See, if you're only talking about black issues, then you're only really gearing your videos towards a black geographic. See, in these coons, they know if they want to get 200, 300,000 views to get that money, because a lot of these brothers are getting paid for their views, they know they have to appeal to a white demographic to get more views. And that's why a lot of these brothers do the videos that they do. Because, see, there's money in coonery. There is profits in coonery. Just like people that make movies. They make these kind of movies because they really are to entertain white people. See, those movies remind them of the good old days. Like a lot of the movies that Ophie Renfrey, I'm not even saying her name, but you know what I'm talking about. I can never say her name for some reason. But Oprah make these kind of movies. Now, some people like them and some people don't. Me, personally, I don't really like them too much because I know they're to entertain. And, see, for any movie to make the money, because I think right now, The Butler is the number one movie out right now. I think it grows like 20, 30 million. That's because a lot of white people are going to go and they're going to watch the movie. And they get a chance to see what the good old days was like. That's what it feels to me. That's the reason why they go see these kind of movies. But Coonan is a market. If you want to make some money, just start Coonan. If you want to climb in the political realm, just start Coonan. If you want to make money as a news broadcaster, just start cooning. See, it is a market that America has created. And they hire black people to assassinate the black character. To assassinate the black image. Because, see, it's more powerful when a black person tell you that you're wrong. It has a more impact power when a black person get on TV and say, no, black people, you're wrong. You're just a bunch of crybabies. None of these things are really happening to you. You don't really get more time for drugs. You're not getting beat up in the middle of the street. You're not getting treated no different than anybody else. You're just a bunch of crybabies. That's all you are. See, and I'm black. And I'm telling you that you're a bunch of crybabies. See, they use our own people against us because it has more of an image impact when other people are seeing it. So when other white people see it that are naive, they say, see, he even says that you guys are a bunch of crybabies. See, what we are in, we are in the middle of psychological warfare. In America, not only do they brainwash black people, they, they brainwash their own people too. In order to keep this certain stereotype going. But it is sad, it is wicked, and it's evil the way they use our people against us. But it's sad and it's very troubling 
to see some of these brothers and sisters go out for the mighty dollar. Because it's all about money and there is a market in coonery. There is a market in putting your people down. And that's why a lot of these brothers and sisters do it. Strictly because of money. Just to get that paycheck. They do damage to thousands and thousands of black people just to get a paycheck. They help America hold us back just to get a paycheck. Just for one coon to profit, he damages the life of hundreds and thousands of black people by getting on TV in agreeing to what the white man says about us. It's damaging. It's powerful. And this is the reason why we cry out so loud to our people. Don't coon. Because I don't think a lot of these coons know the damage they're really doing. Because the damage they're doing is to even the people they love. Everything they say about black people even reflects upon their mother, their sisters, their brothers, their aunties. Everybody is affected when the coon gets on TV and agrees to the slanders of America against black people. It is damaging when black people get on TV and they, they solidify the lie. That's being told against us daily. And this is the reason why they have to go down. The coon ship has to go down. And it's that time. And I feel it in my bones that the real brothers are rising up. And a lot of you coons going to have some problems on YouTube. Because we coming to get you. Your time is up. Your lease is up. And we're tired of you and we can't take it no more. So it is time for us to dig in their ass. It's time for us to show them that cooning comes with a price. And even though you cooning for the mighty dollar, it still comes with a price. And it's time for you to pay the piper. So coons, I'm going to let you know we coming to get you. We are coming to get you. Because selling out your people for the mighty dollar is the worst thing you can do. Because I don't even think some of these coons know the damage they're doing. When they get up there and they agree to the lie that's being told against black people. I don't think they know the damage that they're doing. Just to put money into their bank account. Just for them to buy them a home and them a new car. They are willing to jeopardize the integrity of hundreds of thousands of black people. Because even the coon knows that some of the things that he is agreeing to is lies. Even the coon knows that half the things that's being told against us is a bunch of bull crap. It is very untrue. But he's thinking about that paycheck. He's thinking about that money. He's thinking about that $10,000 check that he's about to deposit for getting on national TV and lying and agreeing to the lie that's being told against our great people. He's not thinking about the damage he's doing when he's up there cooning. The coon is not thinking about that. The coon is thinking about that money, that benefits that he's going to get. Because he know he's going to get benefits. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down to the empire and reality simple. Reality simple. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down to the empire and reality simple.